We're going to elaborate on this simple discount note now, um, abbreviated SDN for short. And remember in the simple discount note, the face value of the note, in other words, the value that is listed on the note, is the amount that gets paid back at the end. So we work backwards from that to calculate what's called the discount. The discount is just the interest charged on the note. Subtracting that discount, going backwards to the beginning to find the proceeds. So let's do some examples of calculating the discount and the proceeds on a simple discount note. So we'll start out with Sam borrows $4,200 on a 6.8%, I'm just going to use SDN for simple discount note, for 90 days. Let's find the discount and the proceeds. So the discount, remember, is that interest that's charged, and the proceeds is the amount of money that Sam is actually going to get at the beginning of that loan, at the beginning of that note, to use for whatever purposes. So our formula is still I equals PRT. It's just now I stands for the amount of the discount, and P stands for the face value. So we're going to find I. Our principal is that face value, $4,200, times our rate, 6.8% is a decimal, is 0 0.068. And our time is 90 days. Now, as we mentioned before when we were doing the simple interest notes, if it's not specified when we're talking days, we assume it is ordinary interest. Ordinary interest is out of 360 days per year. So 4,200 times 0 0.068 times 90 divided by 360 gives us $71.40. That is the amount of the discount. The discount is the money that the bank takes out of that face value and keeps it for the interest. The proceeds are then equal to that face value, the $4,200 minus the discount, the $71.40 which is going to give us $4,128.60 as our proceeds. That's how much Sam is actually going to get to use. So in this simple discount note, as you can see, the face value gives the total amount at the end of the note. And that total amount gets split up. The bank calculates the discount, which is the interest, which they keep, and then the proceeds which they give to the customer to use, and at the end they just pay back that face amount. Let's do another example. So let's have Peyton borrows on a 5.1% simple discount note for 105 days. So I want to find the bank's discount, the discount, and the proceeds. So once again, we're going to find that discount first. I equals PRT. Principal is 1,700. Our rate is 0 0.051. And our time is 105 days. Not specified as exact. So it's going to be assumed ordinary again. So 105 over 360. 
So 1,700 times 0 0.051 times 105 divided by 360. Giving us, rounded to the nearest penny, $25.29. That, once again, is the bank's discount. That's the amount that the bank is going to keep as the interest payment. So the proceeds are going to be that face value of $1,700 minus the interest of $25.29. So give us $1,674.00. And 71 cents is the proceeds. One application of a <clears throat> simple discount note going in the other direction as an investment rather than as a loan is treasury bills, treasury bonds. sometimes referred to as savings bonds. A savings bond or treasury bond is a simple discount investment where the face value might be listed as $500. The rest of the, the rate and term I'm going to say it's listed as a rate of 4.9% and maybe a term of six months. So now we can find how much the proceeds in this pay case are how much you are actually going to pay for that bond. So we're going to start out by finding the discount again. I equals PRT. Principal is that $500 face value. 4.9% becomes 0 0.049 is our rate. Six months, that's just 6 over 12. Giving us $12.25 discount. So then what you would pay for that bond is still a form of the proceeds. It's that face value of $500 minus that discount of $1,225. Here was proceeds of $487.75. So that's the basics of a simple discount note.